Hello guys, now we have Lama 3 with Vision. Lama 3 took the world by storm and this is no exaggeration. It outperformed a lot of state-of-the-art models like GPT 3.5 in all benchmarks. Plus, it also competed with GPT 4, Gemini, Anthropics Cloud on several benchmarks. Then GPT 4.0 came out and then we also saw a lot of other cool models came out and Llama 3 went into a bit of a background. But still I believe Llama 3 is one of the best models out there in open source. If you look at some of the benchmarks like this and let me make it a bit here. So if you look at this benchmark, this tells you the story. The Llama 3 is in the dark blue and all of these benchmarks like uh, MMLU, Math, Vista, it has performed quite well. Let me try to explain what these benchmarks are and then you'll be able to get the idea as why this is so important. The first one, MMMU or Triple MU as it is called, it is a multi-modal, multi-user benchmark. It evaluates models ability to process and integrate information from multiple sources such as text, image and tables. And also, it simulates real world scenarios. It assesses multimodal understanding, reasoning and generation capabilities. Now, if you look at the scores on this triple MQ, you will see Lama 3 Vision is trailing far behind GPT-4.0, GPT-4, Gemini, Gemini 1.0, 5 Pro and Cloud Opus, but it is quite good when it compares to Lava 1.6 billion. The size of the model is quite interesting, the Lama 3 Vision I mean. So because it is just 8 billion, we are not talking about the higher end Lama 3s here. So if you take that in perspective that but Llama Vision is, they have just added a Vision encoder or adapter to this Llama 3 8 billion model and then look at the score. Now you would see why I am so excited about it. Also, this model offers 10 to 20% performance boost over Lava, which is sort of the current open source state of the art vision language model standard. Now, there are also vision abilities which are sort of 100% larger than GPT-4, Gemini, Ultra and Cloud Opus. And they have fine-tuned this just under $500 US. Amazing stuff. Okay, coming back to our benchmarks, next one is Math Vista. Math Vista is a math word problem benchmark that tests models ability to understand mathematical concepts and apply problem solving skills to real world scenarios. So if you're looking for mathematical reasoning, comprehension and generation capabilities, Math Vista is a good benchmark. And on Math Vista, look at the score. This 8 billion vision model is competing with a lot of great models like Gemini Ultra with uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro. And it is not that far away from the leaders of the pack like GPT 4.0 and GPT 4. Then comes AI 2D. It is AI 2D stands for Adversarial Image Generation and Detection and it evaluates the ability to generate and detect adversarial images. So basically it assesses the robustness and resilience in image classification tasks and it tests the model's ability to identify and defend against manipulated images. If you look at this one again, the performance of this 8 billion parameter model is very very close to all of those bigger models. And Lava is nowhere to be seen in this one by the way. There is no black vertical bar. Then comes Chart QA. Chart QA is a benchmark that evaluates models' ability to extract and reason about information from charts and graphs, simulating real world data analysis scenarios, and it assesses visual understanding, comprehension, and question answering capabilities. Again, in this one, it has even beaten GPT 4 Turbo. How good is that? And it is very, very close to the rest of the lot, like Gemini, Cloud, and GPT 4, but GPT 4 O is a bit higher. And then we have DocVQA. DocVQA stands for Document Visual Question Answering Benchmark and it tests model ability to answer questions about information presented in documents including text, images and tables. So it primarily evaluates multimodal understanding, comprehension and question answering capabilities 
and look at the score it is quite close to all of those amazing models out there now if you look at the architecture of this model it is fairly straightforward so the bulk of the efforts have gone into making llama 3 understand visual information of course so what how they did it as shown in the figure they take an input image and embed it into the series of patch embeddings using the siglip model these embeddings are then aligned with the textual tokens via projection block which applies the two self attention blocks to put the textual and visual embeddings in the same plane finally the visual tokens from the projection block are prepended to the textual tokens and the joint representation is passed into llama 3 just as it normally would so this is just a high level of how everything works here and by the way when we say siglip siglip is um, stands for sigmoid loss for language image pre-training and it is an image embedding model that is similar to clip as you can see in this diagram but unlike clip which uses a contrastive loss with softmax normalization siglip utilizes a pairwise sigmoid loss which enables the model to operate independently on each image text pair without requiring a global view across all pairs in a batch at a high level Siglip's vision encoder splits the image into a sequence of non-overlapping image patches and projects them into a lower dimensional linear embedding space producing a sequence of patch embeddings. These patch embeddings then go through a vision encoder which applies self-attention to capture long range dependencies and extract higher level visual features. And they have directly used the original Siglip model trained by Google DeepMind. How good is that? So all in all, very efficient model and really like the way they have added the vision encoder um, to the model really i think awesome stuff they have done here there is a lot of information on their hugging face model card which you can go through they have even given some code which you can run to do the local inference but um, also there is some inference problem at the moment in the code and they are working on it as per this and i'm sure more than sure it is going to resolve very very soon i just tested it it's a true it is not working so i won't be able to get it installed but in order to run the installation installation this is all you need to know uh, do make sure you install transformers and pillow before you do that and you would need a good gpu even more than 48 gb of uh, vram you would need in order to run this model but all in all amazing stuff and there are some other information which i just discussed around training and all that stuff really heads off to uh, Mustafa Al Jedri, Akshkar, and Siddharth Sharma for this amazing feat. Really loved the model and the way they have added this encoder, vision encoder to an existing model. How good is that? So, what it shows is that you can uh, make probably any uh, model which is similar to Lama, a vision model, by just adding an encoder. So, uh, I'm thinking of doing more videos on it. Maybe I will also take out the processes how exactly to add that vision encoder in the future so stay tuned i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching